The following segment contains violence, which some viewers might find offensive. Viewer discretion is advised. It was a spring Sunday afternoon, May 4, 2008, and one of the residents of the apartment building at 25 Cougar Court by Markham Road and Eglinton Avenue in Toronto was on his way out. He decided to take the stairs down instead of the elevator. The resident reached the ninth floor stairwell and discovered a body. He ran back to his apartment and called 911. When police arrived at the building, they found the lifeless body of 16-year-old Mohammed Abdi Warsami. In my 31 years of policing, I can say that the, the injuries that Mr. Warsami suffered were probably some of the worst that I have ever seen inflicted on anybody. Mohammed may have had more than one killer. It's our belief that there's more than one person that uh, did what they did to uh, Mr. Mohammed uh, Warsami. This wasn't the responsibility of one person. There was more than one person involved in this. Muhammad had been lying in the stairwell for some time before his body had been discovered. He had been beaten to death with hands and feet. He was punched, stomped on, and kicked until he died. This is a large, multi-dwelling family unit. It was on a Sunday afternoon uh, in May, and our belief is that there would have been numerous people that should have been in their residences, and that's why our belief is that somebody in the building should have heard some type of an altercation. This wasn't a one or two punch attack that could have been done very silently. This was a beating that lasted for some time, and uh, he suffered, and we want to ensure that nobody else has to endure this. When police arrived on Muhammad's mother's doorstep, she thought they'd have good news about her son. We spoke to the mother the night of the, that uh, Muhammad was found, and unbeknownst to us at the time, the police officers had just left her house where she had reported Muhammad missing. And when we arrived, she was under the impression we were there to let her know that Muhammad had been found and unfortunately we had to give her the bad news that in fact Muhammad had been found but he had been murdered and that we were the investigators that were going to look after her son's case. Muhammad had lived with his mother and uncle in Scarborough. We are still as the homicide squad trying to find out why Mr. Muhammad uh, Warsami was at this building. He was not a resident of 25 Cougar Court, although he did live in the general area. So we're reaching out to the person or persons that may have been with uh, Muhammad just prior to his death. We're under the impression that he did have some friends in the building. We've yet to be able to identify who those friends are. And we're asking, again, for anybody that has information as to why he was at that building in particular to uh, come forward with us. Uh, again, we want to know what he did prior to the murder. Was he visiting friends? Was he associating with somebody? Was there some type of activity going on that people were, are afraid to come forward about? And uh, again, that's why we're asking that if you have information but you don't want to contact us directly, please call Crime Stoppers. Muhammad had been well liked by his teachers and peers at school. Our investigation has also led us to the Facebook and Vibe websites where we've been monitoring tributes set up uh, for Mr. Warsami. And there are discussions on the blogs and the walls where we believe that some of the youth out there, be it friends of uh, Mr. Warsami or possibly the persons responsible, have left messages indicating possible motives and the, the possibility of the people who are responsible for this. Muhammad was not associated to any gangs that the police are aware of. There may be people that don't recognize the name of Muhammad Warsami. Uh, we know he went by the street name and the nickname of Mo, Little Mo, and Crooks. Through the, the tributes, and these came off of the tributes that were on both Facebook and Vibe, that we were able to identify what some of these names are. 
So on our appeal, again, there may be people that don't know him by his real name, but know him by the street names, which is common nowadays, that we'd ask them if they know of any information, whether they've heard it directly or if they've heard it third hand. No information is bad information. One week before Muhammad's murder, someone else had been murdered five floors above in the same apartment building. Our investigation to date has shown that there's no connection between the two murders. Unfortunately, uh, for the address of 25 Cougar Court, they experienced two murders within a, a very short period of time, which is unusual uh, for any one building. If you have any information about this case, call Crime Stoppers toll-free at 1-800-222-TIPS. Online at www.222tips.com.